Welcome back to another Handyman Land video. Today's video is on the yard lock gate lock. I purchased this keyless wood gate lock kit because I just didn't want to deal with having to find keys to get in the backyard. In the package it comes with our latch assembly, latch cover, 12 screws, and note one screw is twice the size as the others and our yard lock and for those of you that don't know what a latch lock does when the door swings close it latches and locks okay so let's talk a little bit about the lock so you open it up on the inside here has a little diagram on how the cable goes in the cable goes there's a little space here where the cable goes through there through this little hole I don't know if you can see that there. Then you just loop it around just like on that diagram. And here is, you take this little piece of rubber out that's there. This is where you change the combination to your lock. So here has a little arrow. So what you want to do is when it's on your zero 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 just want to move this to the right goes to the right and upward it's a little little tight now what you do is put whatever combination you want let's just do something quick simple one one one, two. Let's put it back. Put your rubber piece back in. Close it. Okay, now it will not open. Now you need to put your code, one, one, two, and it opens. And that's how you set the code on your yard lock. And anytime you want to change the combination, you just repeat the process. As you can see, I set it back to zero, 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 zero. And it's a good thing to always keep this closed to keep it from the weather elements. And to install this, you're going to need a center punch or a Sharpie. You'll also be needing to drill out a 3 8 hole. I have my drill bit here. If you're not sure, I'll leave a description in the link at the bottom of these jigs here. It's great um, when you need to drill out a particular hole and you're not sure, you can't see the marking on the drill bit. I know that's my 3 8 Also a tape measure, fill up screwdriver, and a drill. I also like making pilot holes when I'm putting in any screws, so I'll be using a 1 8 drill bit for this. Also a torpedo level is optional. On the manual it says do not place the latch lower than 20 inches. I think I'll be placing mines probably around the 24 inch mark or the 30 inch mark. Okay, I decided I'm going to go with the 30 inch mark. It's about here.
Okay, next step is take your boat, latch it, so you can find your mark, i say about, I think right there will be good. So for this next step, you want to raise your latch all the way up, find your mark, okay, the next step is a little tricky. The goal is to drill inward, but in an angle, because the goal is to come out through the center. Next step is we're going to take our cable, stick it in our hole, like so, and here's where you want to test it. If you feel as though you need to drill out a little bit more, you can get your drill bit and just ream it a little bit, because you want to make sure you test this now, that your cable is not catching. That's what you want to see. Next step is our latch cover. This piece here, you want it resting right on top of here. Like so. Now for this part here, you're not going to be able to pre-drill this. Remember the long screw? This is the part where you're going to put your long screw right there on the top of your latch cover Just put it in place kind of eyeball it to get it centered of your latch careful you don't want to crack it Now we got our last two holes. That's where we put our next two screws. Okay, for the next step, you want to remove this rubber cover off your yard lock. Okay, slide it in, get it centered. Get your torpedo level here. Go ahead and make your pie holes. Okay, go ahead now, put your rubber piece back on. Get your cable.
now you should have only four screws left Okay, this is the part where you get your screwdriver now. You want to loosen these screws right here. Don't remove them all the way. You don't need to. Okay, now you want to pull your cable towards you all the way. Want to insert your cable. Okay, probably need to loosen this a little bit more. There you go. Now, pull it all the way towards you. Make sure this is all the way down. Now, let's tighten it. Tighten your screws here. Okay, you want to take your cable, get it under, there you go, you want to get it under there. That's good. You're basically following this diagram here. Now tighten your second screw. Okay. Now this piece, the leftover, just get it in there. Try to tuck it in there. There you go. Just don't want it in your way. go so just test it Wanna see your latch here well there you have it then you could go ahead and remove this rubber piece whenever you want to change your code move this little latch to the side and upward Put in your new code, latch it again, don't forget and don't lose your little rubber piece here, I'm going to put that back in there, lock it and always keep this little door closed to keep it safe from the elements of the weather. And when you're on the opposite side just stick your finger in here, lift the latch and that's it. The next video you'll be seeing of this project is our big swinging gate to get the vehicles into the backyard. But stay tuned, I'll also leave you a link in the description of this privacy fence that I built. Well there you have it, that's my video on the keyless gate lock. I hope this video helps someone out there. Like and subscribe, hit that bell icon, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you for watching. Pew, spider.